All right, what is up, team? We are here for the full breakdown of today's at-home workout. We've got Charity with us again, demoing these moves. A couple new things today, so pay attention. We're gonna kick things off with a five minute steady state warm up. So I want you to pick a generic kind of general activity, running, rowing, biking, swimming, whatever you wanna do, cannonballs in the pool. Um, give me five minutes of general activity and then we will move on to what we're about to demo. So first up in the lineup, we're gonna do three rounds of 30 X steps. So we've got our pull-up band. We're gonna loop this thing right across our kind of shoulder blade area. So it's across our upper back. We're gonna get a good tight grip near our armpits as well. Then we're gonna to try to stand in this thing. So we want to put the center of our feet right on those arches, guys, um, on the band. So charity has got a nice wide stance. She's about shoulder width apart, and she'll maybe inch that out as we go here through the motions. But what we're going to do is we're going to step up high into the center with the knee, and then we're going to step out nice and wide. And we're just going to keep alternating legs here. So we're just marching in place, but we're bringing our knee up high into the center, and then we're stepping out nice and wide, spreading that band. So we're going to feel this in our glutes and AB ductors after a while. So we're going to give, give me 30 total of those 15 each way. Then we're gonna pair that with a little hip flexor drill also using the band. You can do this standing or seated. I'd like to show you guys the seated version just in case you don't have something to hang on to today. So Charity's gonna take a seat on the edge of a bench, chair, box, whatever you got. Uh, we're gonna keep one, we're gonna put our hand in one end of the band. That's gonna be replaced by your shoe in a moment. But the other side, you can just grip both sides of the band closed. We don't need that open for any reason. So she put her left foot and stomped down on both strands of the band, and that created an open loop for her right foot to sneak in where her hand was. So basically, the right foot is inside of the band and the left foot is on top of the band. So now what she's gotta do is she has to keep her left foot pegged to the floor, and then she's gonna pull her her right knee to her chest 15 times and the band is causing tension on those hip flux hip flexor muscles to pull now if you need more weight we're just going to kind of pull that slack out from between your feet if you need more weight if you need less you'll feed more slack into the system all right so make sure that down leg stays pinned to the floor, guys. So we're going to do 15 of those per leg. So three rounds, 30 X steps, and then 15 per leg of these hip flexor moves, knees to chest. Then we move on. We're going to get into our strength for the day, which is going to be a front squat. So we're kind of improvising the term front squat today because we're assuming we all don't have barbells. So we've maybe got a kettlebell, so we're going to hold this thing like a goblet squat. Uh, we may have maybe have dumbbells, which is how Charity's going to demo today. So these things are going to be just up in this front rack position. Um, so we are going to pass through a full depth squat, but then we're going to press up just above parallel. That's going to be the quarter rep before going down again and then coming back up. So Charity's going to go ahead and demo a full squat. So all the way down, part way up. Nope, that was a no rep, so scratch that from the record. So we're gonna go all the way down, part way up just above parallel, back down, and then all the way up, that's one rep. So these are called one and a quarter squats. Okay, so let's do a few more of those so they get the idea, Charity, there you go, boom. Yep, so all the way down, just above parallel, back down, and all the way up, okay? So our goal for strength is to do five rounds of 10 reps of the one and a quarter squats. So that should be harder to perform than just 10 regular reps. Then we need to do 20 calf raises. So last week we went over calf raises. I would advise you guys to use a step, a curb, a threshold of some kind. If you have bumper plates, you can lay those down, whatever is a solid surface for you to do these on. Um, so one goofy way to do these is on our hex dumbbells. Make sure they're on the flat side. Um, you'll need something to balance on and leaning forward so the weights don't tip over on you. Uh, but we want a good calf stretch at the bottom and then stand all the way up on your toes at the top. So we're gonna do 20 of those for every set of uh, one and a quarter front squats that we do. All right, cool. Thank you, Charity. And then guys, we are moving on to the Metcon. This should be a leg burner. I'm excited about it. The format today, we're gonna do five rounds every two minutes. So this is actually a 10 minute workout. For those of you that have a weight vest and are used to wearing a weight vest for things like MRF or certain exercises, I'm going to challenge you guys to wear that vest. So good luck with that. So within two minutes, our goal is to do 30 drop lunges and 30 per leg mountain climbers. All right. So we're going to go over what a drop lunge is. So we are standing up nice and tall, feet are together. Charity's going to drop into a lunge and then 
jump right back to that initial neutral position. So she's dropping into it and then snapping back to that feet together position. So this is your drop lunge, guys. So we need 30 total of those, and we're gonna pair that with 30 per leg mountain climbers. So we're in a nice push-up plank, and then we're cycling our feet forward and backward. Uh, that's gonna be 30 per leg, all right? Nice job, Charity, thank you. So the goal, guys, is to do five rounds. Every two minutes, your goal is to do 30 total drop lunges and 30 per leg mountain climbers, and then rest with remaining time, and see if you can keep up with the clock for all five rounds. For those of you that are used to scaling workouts, what you're gonna wanna do on this is, I would rather you scale the time domain versus the repetition. So I would say do five rounds of every two and a half minutes. So I'm basically gonna extend your interval by 30 seconds. That's either gonna buy you more time to work and or more time to rest. All right, so that is your workout of the day, guys. Hit it hard, hit it fast, stay safe. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks, Charity.